Hi and welcome back to the Hobby Man UK channel. On today's workbench I've got an unboxing video of the Conflict 47 German Army Starter Set. This is from Warlord Games. Um, as it says in the box here we've got um, a rule book, uh, a spinny light Panzer Mech, a tank, 24 grenadiers, um, 8 token cores which I think is referring to zombies, some pin markers, a 6 sided dice and 6 order dice. Um, so yeah, let's have a look at the box. Um, Again, lovely artwork on the, the front there. Um, the bottom there is a photograph showing what the miniatures would look like in that particular colour scheme. Um, and on the back we've got, again, some sample images of what you could potentially paint them as. Um, tank, the walker, grenadiers and your zombies. Very cool. Right then, let's have a look inside the box. Right then, with the parts taken out of the box, I'll just run through each, each component. Uh, first of all, we've got a, a blister pack here which contains the Panzer Mech, uh, which has obviously got a resin and its uh, resin body and its metal legs. So that's one, one part that came in the box. We've then got the um, Eight zombies, which is again in a blister pack. So we'll have a closer look at that in a minute. We also had um, a selection of bases, and then we've got parts of the uh, medium tank, which are the side skirts there and the hull and tracks, and then we've got another sprue which is the top of the, the tank and obviously that one there contains the other, the other turret. Um, we've also got a resin component to change the tank um, in reflection to this Conflict 47 game. Um, it does come with the, the other turret there you can see on the sprue should you want to build the tank in its standard version. But um, So it does come with the resin part for that and then we've got one two three um, four four sprues it looks things with the grenadiers on which are there those are obviously in plastic which we'll also have a closer look at so there's four of them identical and then we've got another sprue containing your um, markers there for a nice plastic again and then we've also got a bag of dice. So you've got your six six-sided dice and your six order dice in a bag. And then we've got those lovely decals again, which I'll show you. Zoom in on that, and they're lovely. Very smart. And then we've got a large base couple of small ones still, so it's there, and we've got this large base, um, which is obviously for the walker, and then we've got a information card here with regards to various troops there, um, and the parts contained on the sprues, so a list of the components there, obviously left arm holding map and grenade throwing arm and parts, so that's quite smart. Um, and then what was nice to see actually was in the box was a play sheet there, which was quite good, and there was something containing two two rulers. So that's quite good. And also you've got the um, rule book, which I'll show you in a second. Um, and that pretty much summed up everything that was in the box. So it's quite a good actually. So we'll have a closer look. Right then, the rule book, which is uh, a softback, contains the background story for the Conflict 47 game. Um, there's also information about the various armies and obviously the rules. Um, contains some beautiful artwork, lots of photographs of, of uh, painted miniatures, um, and a very nice, uh, very nice little book really. But um, yeah, so that's that's the rule book that comes in the starter pack. Um, also, I failed to mention was um, there is a card 
which is on top. I'll just quickly zoom back on this. That comes on top of the box, um, which is a, a roll sheet there. It contains a couple of rulers as well. So, um, yeah, so you don't have to flick for the book. You've got that you can keep near your tabletop for playing. So that's that. We've also got on one side of the box um, is the instructions, assembly instructions for the uh, Panzer Mech there, spinny, and also for the the tank there. Um, obviously not showing the turret because you can obviously decide whether or not you want to put the uh, the Conflict 47 turret on there or just a standard turret. But um, so the instructions for that are on the side of the box. Um, we'll have a closer look at those decals, which are very smart, and very well printed. So they're nice. And we've also got, as I said, a description of the various miniatures there, and also sample images of them painted. And there's also a diagram showing the sprue there, and which, and which each component is. So that's quite handy. And we'll have a quick look at these. lots of bases. Don't really need to show them in too much detail. But there's plenty of bases there for your miniatures. Um, and again, one large base for the uh, Panzer Mech, which we'll have a look at now. I'll bring that into into shot. Um, a nice, nicely sculpted rasin cast there. It's uh, really nice. So we can get a bit closer on that one. There we go. With your turret on top. I've glued this driver in in the. Uh, the barrels there just to show you what it looks like and you've got your metal legs um, which will go into each point around the body um, I think you can if you wish you could sort of change these slightly and put it in a sort of a um, making it look like it's moving on a small diorama but a um, little bit of cleaning up to do on the resin but very good um, and obviously comes with a metal miniature driver there. So that's that. Um, and let's have a look at the, the zombies. Well then, let's have a look at the uh, the eight zombies that comes in the box. Um, I like this particular one here because he's missing his uh, his arm, which is quite good. So let's just zoom in and have a look at that. Lots of great detail there on the face. But very good. There's cleaning up to do on all of them. There's obviously the flash here to remove. Um, but yeah, very good. Lots of little uh, holes in his body there to add the blood and gore. Let's just pick another one. There we go. But yeah, very good. Very, very good indeed. So I hope that shows all the detail in them. So they're very good. And like I say, there's eight of those. There's one there actually. <laughs> I just noticed there is of half of his head missing and then looks like his arm as well so he's uh, properly rotting away there but yeah so there you go that's the eight zombies let's have a look at something else right then we've got uh, a sprue with the pin markers on which are quite cool uh, and a sort of a clearish red plastic and then we've got uh, another sprue which i said earlier contains tracks of a tank and the hull of the tank and the turret there. Again, not really any visible mould lines actually, so they're quite impressed with that. Um, that's quite uh, quite good. Nice quality plastic. Um, let's have a look at the top of the tank. We've got there. So uh, again, quite good. The wheels, very cleanly moulded. Um, in fact, while that's there, I'll show you the the resin part that comes to transfer the sorry transform the tank into the uh, Conflict Forty Seven game. Let me just put that on there so you can see. So there, which will obviously change the look of the tank completely. A clever idea, and again a nice piece of 
cast resin. Not very much to clean up on that actually. Loving the detail there in the, the grill. So that's quite cool as well. Put that over there. And then we've got the armoured skirts to the side of the tank. And uh, other components. Again, fantastic detail. Especially this scale. Very good. And then we've got the four remaining sprues, which I'll, um, I'll just pick one and show you in closer detail. Um, zoom in on that. There we go. Again, they're brilliant as well. Loving the detail. Almost look like they've painted already, really. It's uh, very, very good. There's assault weapons there. Another base there. And let's have a look at some of these some of these heads and we'll zoom in on that. There we go. They are very good. Even the little logos there and the caps. So yeah. Brilliant. Lots of facial expressions there. And like I say, there's uh, four sprues of those, so yeah, very good. And then obviously you had your your dice there. And uh, yeah, so all in all, very impressed with that. Um, very nice, uh, very nice box set to start with. And um, yeah, plenty of uh, plenty of pain to do. Um, definitely, definitely a. Um, a great way to get into Conflict Forty Seven. Um, certainly, if you want to start your with a start with a German army. So, um, thank you very much for joining me, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.